Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Open Shortest Path First OSPF Lab Number 5. In this lab, we're going to take a closer look at OSPF stub areas. So the first thing I want to do in this lab is explain the current network topology that we have, because we're going to be using the same network topology in a few of the other OSPF labs, specifically the NSSA lab, the Not So Stubby Area lab, and also our summarization labs. So we're going to see the same network topology in those labs as well. And at first glance, the network topology looks pretty intimidating and overwhelming, but what I'm going to do is break down all the routers for you, tell you exactly what is going on. So the first thing you can see is that we have that we are using logical tunnels, our LTs, between all the router interfaces. And so what I'm going to be doing in this lab, and what I do for a lot of my labs, is I run what is known as logical systems. And a logical system breaks down one physical Juniper router into multiple logical systems, our virtual routers. And then we're going to bridge those virtual routers together using the logical tunnel interfaces in this lab. And if you're not familiar with the logical tunnel interface type, you can watch I have two at the at the time of my recording this lab I have two logical systems labs. One of them shows you how to use the LT interface to bridge your logical systems together and then I have one that shows you how to use the EM interface to bridge or connect your logical systems together. So if you're not familiar you might want to catch up watch those labs to see exactly what we're doing. First thing I want to just tell you is that all of the logical systems have already been created. The logical tunnels, the logical tunnel interfaces have also been created as well. There's just a few basic initial configuration steps that we're going to do and I'm going to explain that in this first section of the lab because we need to know exactly what is going on. For instance we have external routes and these routes are external to the OSPF domain. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about those in a minute. But let's go ahead and go back to the LT interfaces, the logical tunnels. All the LTs are connected to each other via LT120.xx. For instance, on router 1, the connection from R1 to R3 is using LT1, I'm sorry, LT-120.13 on R1 side and then dot 31 on R3 side. And the router IPs, I could have listed all of them, but as you can see, the space that I had to work with is kind of limited, so I just simplified by saying all the router IPs, for instance, for R1, the router IPs for its interfaces are all dot one. So LT uh, logical tunnel 12 on R1 has the IP of 12.12.12.1 and also for instance on R5 logical tunnel 53 has the IP address of 35.35.35.5 so let's go ahead and explain how we have OSPF configured in this lab R1, R2, and R3 have interfaces in OSPF area 0 on R1, both of its interfaces, LT12 and LT13, are in OSPF Area 0. On R2, LT21 is in Area 0. And on R3, LT31 is in Area 0 as well. So that consists of our OSPF backbone, which is Area 0. Between R2 and R4, we have OSPF Area 24. router 2 is connected to router 4 via LT.24 
and router 4 is connected to router 2 via LT42 and this consists of the 24 network and also on router 4 we have a loopback 0 0.4 interface and we have four networks configured under loopback 0 0.4 on R4 we have the 10.0.0.4 slash 24 and then we have the 1.4, 2.4 and 3